Story time. Story time. Story time. Anyway, we were watching a movie at at my apartment, and my roommate was sitting over here. I don't remember what we were watching, but I was like, hey, man, you want to watch this in HD? He's like, yeah, man. I'm like, and the lights went out. He's like, you son of a... That was before HD. <laughs> it was before HD. Or at the very, I should say the very early stages of HD, because you had... Back in the early 2000s, you had HD, DVD, finding out with Blu-ray over who would be the true king of 1080p. Oh, yeah. And it was Blu-ray. Yeah, Blu-ray ended up pointing. Anyway, welcome back to the channel, everyone. We are the Whiskey Watchers. I'm Dan. And I'm Jake. And today, we are continuing the series on whiskey and films and television, finally. I know. With a movie that Jake uh, Jake showed me earlier today that he, uh, he randomly looked at me. He's like, hey... There's this whiskey that's in this movie, Out Cold, that, uh, that we should talk about. So we're going to talk about Out Cold. And how funny it is. And how uh, it's a For a really, 2001 movie. For a 2001 release, Zach Galifianakis' second, mm -hmm. is movie. it? Yeah, second, second movie. movie. He released three in the span of about a year. This was the second one. It's a really good movie. So if you've never seen Out Cold, it's all about living in Alaska, snowboarding, and fighting the... Corporation fighting big corporations, but first we need something. Um, wait, I got it. I so mean, it was in the movie. In the movie, it featured. We're gonna do. We're gonna do an upgraded version. In the movie, it featured wild turkey, Austin Nichols wild turkey, a big bold print, because there's this old man who owned this mountain named Papa Munts. Papa Munts, and that was his drink. And as they say in the movie, Bull Mountain don't go Bull change. Mountain, don't go changing. That's right. So we ain't going to change it up. We're just going to drink on some Wild Turkey 12-Year 101 today. The upgraded version. The, up, the very much upgraded version. I have the 8-Year up here, but you know what? We're celebrating Jake's vacation. Woo! So we're going we're gonna to indulge in some 12-Year. Some oh, tomorrow I'm probably going to see a movie I've never seen before. So 101. What are you going to go see? I'm on, I'm not going. And I swear it. if you say the machine, I'm going to punch no, you. No, I, I'm seeing Aliens. Alien, the OG Alien. I've never seen it before. So I figured it was about time. They had all six or seven of them at Walmart for like 25 bucks. And I'm like, I am so <laughs> bored with my internet being out. Yeah, he lives out in B the country. E. The BFE, if you know what that is. Well, congratulations. But yeah, in the movie... Um, Dude's handed a entire fifth of Austin Nichols Wild Turkey 101 after uh, seeing his crush of two weeks of two weeks who from... left him on a beach in Cancun, Mexico. Do you remember what the bar was called? Pedro uh, O'Hornies. Pedro O'Hornies. Yes. Uh, yeah. Featuring uh, "Island in the Sun" by Weezer as the main song of this movie. One of the best freaking soundtracks. I think I've already said this. One of the best freaking soundtracks of any early 2000s movie. Eve 6 made that song specifically for them, and I have it on a playlist of my early 2000s stuff, and I love that song. This is what Wild Turkey Gonna should be. Going again in the car with a smile and the... Yeah. This yeah. is what Wild Turkey should be. It's so About good. About 12 years old. About 12 years old. Ooh. Bubble gum. Oh, man. <sighs> that is sexy. Don't go changing. Cheers. Mm. Mm. So while he's savoring, I'm going to give you the lowdown of the plot of this movie. Basically, let me do the happy dance. A guy, an old man who owned this mountain, who stole it from the Eskimos, died a year ago. Stole it. They outright stole it from the Eskimos. Yeah. Dang it. And his son has become the manager of this mountain, and he is selling it to a big corporate dude from Colorado called Lee Majors, and he's planning on making this thing into a five star resort in Alaska. So. The whole thing is them going through the deal, making changes to the town. The townspeople realizing, oh, my God, we hate this so much. And then the main character, Rick Rambis, at the very end is handed a manager contract to run Snownook, realizes he fired all of his friends and decides, fuck this guy. And they go on a whole shenanigans list. And in the meantime, there are drunken pranks. There are wipeouts. There are a there's lot of good drunken music. pranks. There is, there is male phallus in a hot tub. Stuck in a jet, you know. Two guys in a uh, women's chat room. Yeah. <laughs> back when women, back when chat rooms were a thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you remember chat rooms? 
I remember chat rooms. I remember chat rooms. Anyway, there's also, I, I think my favorite drunken prank was when they uh, pulled him out of the bar, put him in the car, yes. and started spinning it. it was, oh my God! Yes. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh my God. Or the polar bear. <laughs> they all start fucking laughing. And then he starts slamming his brother's head into the steering yeah, wheel. <laughs> the steering wheel. Beep, beep, beep. But I, I never could re- think of, you know, was, it, was that car a Camaro or was it a Chevelle? I, I think it was a Chevelle. I have no idea. I honestly think it was a Chevy Chevelle, Chevelle SS, but I could be wrong. I mean, it had a snowplow in the front of it. It so. did have a snowplow, so you can't really tell. But, yeah, all really good. With a lifted back end. Yeah, that motherfucker was lifted to the moon. <laughs> what did that one guy call it? They call it the, uh, they call it the Carolina Squad. The Carolina <laughs> And this guy had one. He called it the called the Tennessee, Tennessee Dog or something. Like, cause it was something just like face that. Down oh, yeah, freaking... face down, ass up. Yeah, that's just... right. Love it. I, it was on a TikTok. I saw this dude weird. He does a lot of weird stuff like that. And it's hilarious every time he does it. So long story short, all of this happens. The drunken shenanigans happen. At the end of the movie, they finally realize everything has gone to shit because mm-hmm. they let this man have too much control and they absolutely crash his party. Yeah, they crushed the... Uh, what, 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 it was an investor invest- meeting. Yeah, the investor's dinner. Meeting. Yeah, the, the investor's celebration dinner. Basically, mm. he was trying to sign people up to be investors of this property and... Uh, to afford the changes that he had to make. My gosh. Snowboarding in the style of Papa, of Months. Papa Months. With the pants down. Now, the cheeks weren't out, to be fair. Yeah. And it, on the statue, the cheeks were also present. Yeah, but he... He had the old mud flap open. They're going yeah, to go. the, old, <laughs> the old mud flap was open. That's what we called it. Um, so that's exactly what it was for. Other than that, I mean, th- this movie has so many noteworthy just gag moments. The drug test scene. Yes. The uh, in love with a park bench scene. Yeah, the in love with a park bench. Anything, anytime Zach Galifianakis passes out on screen, it's just comedy gold. Yep, they strap him to the back of the uh, the mechanical bull and just have him seesawing the whole night. They have a polar bear licking his crotch. Polar bear licking his crotch. Also has apparently shaved his eyebrows in the past, took yep. pictures. Apparently he is very well known for doing this in this movie. Mm. And his brother just cracks on him the entire time. And his brother is dumber than a box of rooms. A pair, box of rocks. A box of rooms. Dude, could you imagine a box of rooms? That'd be really dumb. Be kind of dumb. You look at and go, who did this? But anyway, an absolutely amazing movie. If you ever, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Or well, rent it, buy it, steal it, borrow it. Good luck finding it. It's probably like two bucks in a bargain bin somewhere. Probably somewhere like a Dollar General bargain bin. Still wrapped up in the case in your local CVS from 1990. Well, from 2001. 2001. Yeah, you see, I said 1990s, and now you're saying 1990s. I know. I know. But. All in all, this this movie pairs well with Wild Turkey 12 Year 101. And I'm sure Wild Turkey 101 as well. It's all yeah, a great that's product. my fault. I forgot. I don't even have a bottle of just base, base 101 in here anymore. It's, it's I think I bought one for a podcast one time. We drank it at the podcast, and then it sat at my house. Yeah, well, Wild Turkey 101 is like my daily drinker, though. That's what I go to, and I'm out. I need to go restock. I have quite a bit of my daily drinker, but one of them has got plans, so... <laughs> So there's a half gallon somewhere in my shelves. Man. Mm. This is probably some of the best wild turkey I've tasted. Only get it in Japan, apparently. Or China. Well, there's another spot. It's in Louisville. Uh, it's, uh, well, it's it's actually like a bottle shop that I think is attached the to one a that restaurant. got recently raided by the AK. No, nope, oh, nope. we're okay. not talking Justin's. It's actually uh, attached to a restaurant, but hmm. it's like $180 a bottle. I mean, where else are you going to find Wild Turkey 12 year unless you get somebody overseas to yeah, ship yeah. it to you illegally? I mean, it makes me want to go buy one, another one because I'm going to be so sad when this is gone. I know I've had to hold back on drinking this one very yeah, much. I don't blame you. I would too. When I got it, she was, you know, there. Now she's here and... I know that's not a lot, but you only got this much to go. I only have yeah, I only have that much to go. It's crazy. Anyway, Out Cold, absolutely amazing movie. Love it. Wild Turkey, 101, 12 year, 8 year, just 101. Absolutely great whiskey from a great distillery in Kentucky. And uh yeah, any more you want to add, big boy? 
If you get offended easily, probably don't see this movie. That's yeah. This that's, that's about it. Okay. Yeah, there are there is a lot of mentioning of the R word. Uh, Other than that, it's yeah. two thousand one. It was a different time. I mean, totally. Ten, yeah. ten years ago, you could say that in an Xbox chat lobby, and nobody would. And no one, else yeah, would call you like, right back. Yeah, everyone would call you that right back. They'd threaten to come to your house and you know do things with your mom. Sometimes your dad isn't that the right person. Yeah. Anyway, great movie, great whiskey. Did you spill it? I thought I spilled a little bit. I was like, wait. No! I did a little bit. One second. Oh, well, you got a little more right there. Flipped it off your finger. I'll take care of it. Oh, the finger tastes like dog. <sighs> My dog, though. Oh, God. Should have washed your hands. Oh, shit. Oh. I made it. I, oh, mistakes have been made. Pet the dog. Wash, <laughs> wash your hands. hands. Oh, okay. That's it for us, guys. I'm Jake. Mixing it up, catching him on the breathe in. He's caught me off guard before. And oh, you I'm, are. I'm Dan. Reminding you. Oh, oh God. You got to do the first part because I never remember the you first part. You never remember the first part? Give me a second. Okay. Yep. We're Catch good. Up. I got the wet dog out of my mouth. All right. Oh, reminding you to share a pour and a great movie with your friends and family. There you go. Because much like the movies and this amazing whiskey, it doesn't make themselves. They doesn't make themselves. They don't make themselves. I don't know. It doesn't make itself. Yeah. It really doesn't. Cheers, everyone. Oh, wet. Uh, uh, <laughs>